Hello guys, welcome to Startup Tutorials. In this session, we will be discussing about the dynamic analysis of an RCC building using response vector method. So let us take the building we took last in the last session during the calculation of frequency of the building with eigenvalue extraction method. So as you can see, this is the building. Well, we will keep the same sizes support coming to loads we'll remove all the load cases fine now response spectrum method first is carried out by defining the seismic definition so let us go and define the seismic definitions select add you select the code is 1893-2002 select generate you can select as per zone wise or as per city wise which may be Hyderabad select SMRF general building importance factor will be 1 well, the soil will be medium soil damping ratio is 0 0.05 percentage select generate now select add well seismic definition seismic definition is defined now we add self factor 1 for the definition and floor weights will be dead load 4 in the range of 3 to 21 meters and 2 kN per meter square live load in the same range after defining the loads you can go to load case details select load case 1 select add close select load case 1 well define the floor load which is minus 4 kN per meter square in the range of 3 to 21 meters select add and live load is minus 2 kN per meter square in the range of 3 to 21 meters once you are done with the dead and live load you can add another load case which will be response spectrum load case so in order to define the response spectrum we need to specify few parameters first will be the self weight and coming to response spectrum the load should be same in all the directions so providing self weight with factor 1 in all the three directions then providing floor load of dead load 4 kN per meter square in the range of 3 to 21 meters in all the three directions next will be live load 2 kN per meter square in all the three directions now that you are done with loads close it assign the self weight to the view or structure well you are done with the assigning the loads then we need to assign a response spectrum command select load case add response spectra select code as IS 1893 combination method will be SRSS subsoil class will be medium and damping ratio will be 0 0.05 direction will be 0 0.036 this is calculated by the formula 
z by 2 into i by r so z is 0 0.36 by 2 into i is importance factor which is 1 and r is reduction factor which is 5 so 0 0.36 by 10 gives 0 0.036 you can even add torsion box select add plus now going to analysis and print select mode shapes select add in post print tab you define commands analysis and results and story story drift add close story drift may or may not be added now analyze the structure the design was carried out in the previous problem however we just modified the loads even if you have not seen the figure or the problem in the previous session you can just draw a building and assign the def uh, properties to it and the supports then you can continue with the loads and definitions there is no need for designing anyhow once we are done with analysis you can go to output in output file first you can see this is the note base shear from the response spectrum is less than the base shear calculated using empirical formula for fundamental time period so since VB is less than capital VB is less than small VB as per IS code 1893 what we do is we multiply this multiplying factor with all the response quantities well on multiplying this 2.4 so I can see two point four eight five eight is multiplied with zero point zero three six that we have calculated by the formula z by two into i by r so we got zero point zero eight nine four this will be replayed by replaced by zero point zero three six however let us see the other specifications well let us go to results First you can see icon values, six mode shapes are provided and the frequencies are also given for those. Well the no, uh, here are the modal modal masses in three directions, x, y and z directions and this is dynamic weight of the building this is the missing weight of the building dynamic weight minus missing weight gives model weight of the building coming to mass participation factors 
you can see in the first mode there is a 80.46 participation factor in z direction similarly in x direction in the second mode and the total shear is obtained to be 8086.57 as per CSM method you can see the time period 2 However, if we replace all the response quantities with zero point, uh, we need to replace the 0 0.036 with 0 0.0894. So let us go to loads, select the response spectrum select edit this is replaced by zero point zero eight nine four select change now analyze once again the whole structure well you need to close the output file in order to run the analysis now you can see that the base shear will not exist the base shear VB will not exit the shear small VB go to output file well now you can see that the multiplying factor is equals to 1 it's fine now go to results you can see the i mode value is provided here and the participa participation factors are also given so in this way the dynamic analysis is carried out if you go to post processing you can observe the dynamics of the structure for mode 1 you can select the second mode here similarly third mode which is torsional fourth mode sixth mode even you can animate by selecting mode giving frames target speed and selecting scale increase decreasing then
selecting apply let's see you can see how it is well you can see for the others also In this way, the dynamic analysis of an RCC building is carried out using response spectrum method. This is the end of the session. For more videos, please subscribe. Thank you.